Hello, and welcome to 5 Facts About Subnetting, a means of keeping our networks more efficient and organized. Subnetting is mostly used in large organizations such as a college campus to divide large blocks of IP addresses into smaller and more manageable subnets. This could benefit areas such as security, where publicly accessed networks can now be separated from those that are meant to be private. Even bandwidth control becomes more manageable, where networks running high-priority tasks are allocated more bandwidth as opposed to those dealing with the non-essentials. Before stepping into the process of subnetting, let us first take a look at the IP address, more precisely IPv4. An IPv4 address is 32 bits long and is divided into four 8-bit segments. Always accompanying the IP address is what is known as a subnet mask, which represents a number of bits that are solely reserved for the network ID. These bits cannot be altered for the sake of subnetting. The remaining bits are the host, and these are the bits that will help us to subnet. So say we are given an address block with a subnet mass of 24 and asked to create four new subnets. Well, seeing that the IP address is 32 bits long and the subnet mass makes up 24 of those bits, we only have the remaining eight to work with. Before going any further, let's determine what will be our new subnet mass after creating these four subnets. To do this, we will need some knowledge of binary numbers, for all IP addresses are simply ones and zeros. To expand a total of four unique subnets, two additional bits are required, which will now raise the new subnet mass from 24 to 26. Now with that settled, let's divide. So when laying out the eight host bits, we can see that we have a total of 256 variations, ranging from zero to 255. Now if we are to divide into four equal segments, we will see that the segments will range from zero to 63, 64 to 127, 128 to 191, and 192 to 255. These are our new subnets. So now we have four unique subnets, with each a total of 64 addresses. Well, not exactly. In each network, there are two addresses that cannot be given to hosts. They are the network address and the broadcast address. So now our host addresses drop to 62 for each subnet, and that still is not bad. So there it is, five facts about subnetting. Do you have a question or a fact you would like to add? Leave a comment, and if you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.